If you're going to work with associative arrays, you need to understand their relationship with layers. The main thing to keep in mind is that an associative array has a layer, just like each of the objects in the array. I'm going to use a pretty abstract example here because I want to show the concept without other things getting in the way. So I'm starting with just three objects. The white rectangle is on layer 0, with color by layer. The white triangle is also on layer 0, but its color is by block. The red circle is on layer A, with color by layer. The current layer is layer B, and its color is yellow. Let's see what happens when I array these three objects. Notice that the circle is still red, but the rectangle and the triangle have turned yellow. Because they were on layer 0, they inherited the properties of the arrays layer instead. If you've worked at all with blocks, this behavior should be familiar to you. I'll select the array, go to the Home tab, and change its color to green. The circles are still red, and the rectangles are still yellow, because the colors of their layers haven't changed. But the triangles are green now, because the block color is now green. If this sounds familiar, it's exactly the way by layer and by block work in blocks. Let's see what happens when I turn off or freeze layers A and B. If I turn off layer A, the circles go away, as you'd expect. Same thing when I freeze layer A. Now, how about layer B? Let me set another layer current first. When I turn layer B off, the yellow rectangles and the green triangles go away. Remember, they were originally on layer 0, so they're essentially on layer B now. But when I freeze layer B, the circles disappear too. Again, if you're familiar with blocks, this behavior shouldn't surprise you, but if you're not paying attention, it could have some unintended side effects. This demo has used colors, but it also applies to line type, line weight, and any other property that can be set to by layer or by block. The easiest way around this is to be especially careful when working with objects on layer 0, and, when possible, create the array on the same layer as one of the objects you're arraying. Just remember, as you're creating your arrays, layer matters.